Okay? Another situation. A 12 mm thick tire has an inside diameter of uh, 800 millimeters and it is 110 millimeters wide. It is heated to fit uh, into a steel wheel with a diameter of 800.5 millimeters. Given yung ating modulus of elasticity, 200 gigapascal. Neglect the deformation of the wheel. What is the resulting tensile stress in megapascal in the tire? Calculate the contact pressure between the tire and the wheel. And last one, uh, if in the process, the resulting circumferential stress uh, between the tire and the wheel is uh, 200 megapascal, how much is the elongation of the tire? So, meron tayong um, 12 mm thick tire. Inside diameter is 800 millimeters. Okay? So, 12 mm thick. Yung ating, um, ano, uh, tire is 110 millimeters wide. Ito yan. Na kailangan na natin siyang ma-fit or if we fit natin siya sa isang a uh, steel wheel with diameter of eight uh, 800.5 so as you can see from 800 dapat ang uh, magkasya sa sa 800.5 mm diameter so mangyayari diyan matetense yung ating steel uh, yung ating tire magkakaroon ng tension kaya yung unang tanong dito what is the resulting tensile stress in megapascal in the tire kasi matetense yan Okay? So, ano ba yung magiging um, analysis natin dito? Now, let's try to imagine. Kung i-cut natin to dito, o, tingnan natin siya sa at the uh, front view. I-cut natin siya dito. Now, the total length of the tire, the total length of this tire, pag kinat natin siya, we can imagine that it's just the circumference of the steel wheel. I mean the tire. Ayan. I-open up natin siya. Okay, again, from a circular tire, kung i-cut natin siya, yan, yung total length yan, yan yung ating circumference. Da? So again, kung finit natin siya sa mas malaking diameter, that means nagkakaroon yan ng tension at any part. So that will be a constant tension. So the length of this one is the circumference. Tawagin ko siyang C sub I, initial circumference. Na, yung hindi pa siya nainat. Uh, since gusto natin siyang i-fit dito sa mas malaking diameter, so nagkakaroon yan, I mean, magkakaroon tayo ng tension at any point dyan. Huh? So, magkakaroon din yan ng elongation. Yan, nainat yan. So, bale, we can have the final circumference or the final length. So, we have an elongation here. Okay? So, ano yung initial circumference? So, that's pi times diameter 800. Initial diameter nito, before natin sa pinit, sa 800.5 millimeter diameter steel wheel, 800 pa yung ating diameter initially. So, take note, circumference of a circle is pi times its diameter. So, that is the circumference initial. Now, after na natin sa finite, sa mas malaking diameter, of course, yung magiging diameter niya becomes the 800.5. Kaya final circumference natin is 5 as 800.5. So, ano ba yung ibig sabihin dito? Meron kang elongation or deformation. Da? Take note that the deformation is the difference of the final length to the initial length. So, circumference final is our final length. Initial length is the C sub I. So, that is uh, 800.5 pi. Minus 800 pi. So that gives us 1.571 millimeter. So paano natin makukuha yung resulting tensile stress dyan? Megapascal. But take note, pag meron kang deformation, actual deformation, we have this formula PL over AE. Where P over A, the P over A is the tensile stress or pwede rin yan compressive. So, we can replace this term as sigma. Sigma then L over E. Da? So that's why we can solve for the sigma. Cross multiply natin yan or rearrange. The sigma is delta times E over L. 
So, ano yung E? So, in natin dito na yung E for the um, tire is still the 200 gigapas gigapascal kasi isang E lang yung binigay. So, the deformation here is 1.571. E is 200 gigapascal. Yung length natin dyan is the initial length. Initial deformed length. Initial length natin is the C sub I. No? Initial de undeformed length. So, you have... Delta 1.571, E is 200 gigapascal, and initial length is 800 pi. So, the tensile stress is 1 point, uh, 125 megapascal. That is letter C. Next. So, I gather ko lang yan. Magagamit natin yan sa part 2. Calculate the contact pressure between the tire and the wheel. So, imagine finite na natin siya dito. Yan. Then, ikat lang natin yung portion dito sa gitna. Okay? So, napugos yan. I mean, na, na force siyang i-fit. So, magkakaroon niya ng contact pressure dito. In between the steel wheel and the rubber tire. So, you have here the tension. These are the tensions. Equal tensions yan. Now, let's try to imagine ko. I-separate natin yan. Ito yung tensions natin. So, meron niyang contact pressure that is perpendicular to the tension. Ito yung contact pressure niya. <clears throat> I mean, contact area. Basically, this is a bearing area. So, the contact pressure is force dalawang T divided by the bearing area or contact area. Ganun yan. No? Now, since um, finite na natin siya dito sa 800.5 diameter, millimeter diameter, yung uh, height nito, that's just as rectangle, yung height magiging 800.5 kasi finite na natin siya. Alright, yung dimension naman nito, take note, that's 110 millimeters yung wide natin. Okay? So that means that the pressure on this contact area is just force over the A sub B. I denoted that one as A sub B for bearing area. <clears throat> ano yung force natin? Dalawang tension. Dalawang tension overbearing area. What is our tension cell? So the tension here, take note, 12 mm wide yan. I mean thickness. Itong thickness natin, 12 mm yan. So yung tension makukuha natin. Take note, itong seg a sigma na yan, 125 megapascal, that is the stress on this portion. Yan yung stress dito. Okay? That means kung meron tayong stress dyan, the force T, the tension T, is equal to the stress here, the stress sigma, times its area. What is that area? That is 110 by 12 mm. So, yan yung ating tensile force. Okay, then apply natin dito. The pressure is equal to 2 times T, 2 times 165,000. The bearing area uh, the contact area is eight and uh, 110 ito, times 800.5. So, kuha natin siya 3.75 megapascal. Okay, actually, assuming this is a thin walled vessel, yung ating rubber tire. Wala pala siya binanggit na rubber, no? So, assuming this is a thin walled vessel, vessel, circumferential stress, take note, meron tayong formula. Circumferential stress is PD over 2T. Okay? The circumferential stress is 185, 125 megapascal. Yan yung stress dito, ha? Yan yung stress dyan. Itong pressure dito is the pressure. Inside pressure. We can relate that one here. Na? If the sigma is 125 megapascal, unknown si pressure. Yung D is 800.5 over 2 times thickness. 2 times thickness. So, assuming this is a thin walled vessel. So, equal lang yung value natin. Kung malaki yung difference dyan, then that's not a thin walled pressure vessel. <clears throat> Next. <clears throat> Number 3. If in the process, the resulting circumferential stress between the tire and the wheel is 200 megapascal. So, binigay yung circumferential stress. Balik tayo dito. Yan yung stress here. 200 megapascal. How much is the elongation of the tire? Balik lang tayo dito. 
elongation. Uh, take note uh, that the C sub i initial length is 800 pi. Dalik lang talaga natin. So, elongation yung gusto natin makuha. Again, P over A is the sigma. So, if the sigma is 200 megapascal, yung L is, yung C sub i natin, initial length, given yung E, nakuha natin agad yung ating deformation. That is 2.51 millimeters. Okay, so that's it for this situation.